gets me through my morning every day. Every Ladies morning. Ladies and gentlemen, Adelaide's Jody and Hazy on Nova. How's it feedback? Um, well, I hope you're prepared for some. Uh, this week because, look, you, uh, uh, let me preface this by saying you've got a newborn baby at the home. You're a little bit tired. You've made oh. a couple of small errors. Oh, okay. You're not the only one. So is Abby. There you go. Stop throwing <laughs> stop throwing stones at us, Jody, from your beautiful glass house. <laughs> Maybe I have a newborn at home and that's why I'm tired, okay? You guys don't know everything about my life, all right? No, it wouldn't surprise me for one second. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Abby. All right, here's uh, this week's instalment of Jody's Diary. Um, enjoy, everyone except for me and Abby. <laughs> Jody's Diary Dear Diary, well my good friend Andrew summed up his own week beautifully with one little weird sound What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm <all right. laughs> and when he wasn't being an absolute weirdo, he was doing his best Jessica Simpson impression It's terrifying that you know the lyrics to that song Is anyone else horrified? Oh my very goodness. Goodness, I think Hazy thinks he's Jessica Simpson. (laughs) And Dukes of Hazard, am I right? Looks like you boys had the magic touch. Oh mate, weren't you just slaying it on community radio? Coming up next, Jokes. South Australian conspiracy theories. This is so exciting. Oh, and this is right in the wheelhouse of Newsreader Abbey. Yes. So we're going to get in here. Talk about that next. And if you've got one, get involved. 13 24 10 or send us a text. 040 00. Oh, I've stuffed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Clean sheet for me so far, but if anyone was going to trip me up, it was bloody Britney. In the middle are their photos, and in particular are the photos of her when she had the knife and she was half naked and she was dancing around on Instagram. Do you want me to contact her people and ask them to include it for you? Yeah, just ask her mum, thanks. Sure. Yeah, or her dad. <laughs> or her dad. Which one was in control? Uh, dad. Dad, uh, dad was not in, anymore. in control of the conservatorship. Yeah. Did I say conservatorship? I can never say it. No, it's hard on It's a bit like Kayla it's, 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 it's an anus. It's an anus. It's an anus. It's an anus. Excuse me, girl. <laughs> Oops, indeed, I messed up again. Did Pilates last night and feeling yen, whatever. Yeah, that's Couldn't it. care less. Let's see how that works out for you. Mm-hmm. Feeling very yen indeed. <laughs> what does it feel like to feel Japanese currency? Oh, I mean, the joke's on you because it's a combination of yin and yang and zen. Oh, is that what it is? Yep. Oh, God, is that jazz or yen or Gen Z? There's another story coming out of the um, Jed Zen little group of people. Did you mean Jed Z or Gen Z? Uh, Gen Z. <laughs> what do I mean? What do both of us mean? What do I say? Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, oh. You know who else took to feeling yen far too far was Abs in the newsroom who slept in and completely missed the morning. It barely got a mention. Everybody's wiggling. Wake up, Jeff. We really need you. Wake up, sweetie. Judge uh, free space. He said it was, when I couldn't do a push up, it wasn't a judge free space. Well, but yeah, but that was feedback, yeah. sweetie. <laughs> And the rest of the week was dedicated to caffeine and our fervent hope that Abby in the newsroom would have some to cure her resting bitch face. You cannot start your day without a decent coffee. So true. Unless you're Abby, we have one of those weirdo decaf numbers. Decaf coffees. Ugh. There's nothing wrong with decaf coffee, thank you. You're right. Well, I mean, is there a correlation between the fact that you're always grumpy and you have decaf coffee? Okay. I'm just, I am won't, yeah. like, it's just a valid question. Look, right, you're probably problems. right, but I'm never going to admit that. That's, yeah, that's true. true. I can't wait to go out for drinks with Abby and we'll have some virgin daiquiris. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Ooh. Oh, Abby's having another mocktail. Oh, I got some mocktail. <laughs> <laughs> we like to give away free coffee and it was a case of, look, Mum, no hands in Jody and Hazy's cafe. So if we're going to give away a week's worth of coffee, then perhaps you have to be in the nude to drink it. Yeah, Maybe sure. Maybe that's the stipulation. Yeah, cool. I'm happy with that. You I'm nude be- right now. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm frothing this latte. Are you frothing it with your hands, Hazy? Oh, Abby. So to the recent graduate from TAFE's How to Say Phone Numbers Good on Radio course. This is text 040 00. Uh, I've stuffed it up. <laughs> Just relax, fill in yen, whatever, and let Jessica Simpson take you into your weekend. Crazy, and you know you catch me right before I hit the ground. Go off, kings and queens. All my love, Jody. <laughs> 
been waiting to skip the school holiday crowds for your next trip. Now's your chance. Now take a sneaky weekender with whatif.com. Just imagine all those empty beaches. Book accommodation and more on the What If app. What if it's Aussie for travel? Fizzy Fridays, Fizzy Fridays. Da, 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 da. Fizzy Fridays. Always bouncing down south. Always it's a beautiful ride for right. Sheld. South Coast represent. Yeah, <laughs> you know um, actually, do you know what? That's a good one. You know what? Going down south, driving from the city down south, and this reminds me, have you guys been doing, you guys have been talking about the lies that your parents feed you when you were kids? Yes. Yes. So the one that Dad used to say to me all the time, do you know where the Victoria Hotel is, O'Halloran Hill there, Main South Road? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, there was that rough terrain on the side there. So there was a few hills, like, you know, hills and that flowing along there. One of the hills, there was a big sort of, I don't know, there was a, a, a it was there was all this rough terrain and it was cut out of one of the hills. And growing up, <laughs> Dad used to tell me, see there, that is Broken Hill. Because <laughs> it's broken. And I always said to the kids at school, there were two lies that Dad told me, and I would go to the kids and said, yeah, we, we, said, we, we saw Broken Hill on the weekend. Like, How much travelling do you do? Because <laughs> the other one was Splashdown Water Slide Park at Norlunga. There was only two slides, the Orbiter and the Screamer, right? Yeah. But Dad used to tell us that it was wet and wild. <laughs> yeah. So... So when we were kids, we would go to school and go, yeah, we went wet and wild on the weekend. And all the kids would go, how are you going to the Gold Coast? <laughs> you guys are affording this. It's incredible. God. You guys are rich. Jeez, that's unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah, so that's a big shout out to Mick Fitzgerald. Yeah. A big fat liar down south who's still, who's still alive. Yeah, there you go. Good parenting. Parenting is the best. Done best down south. Yeah. Um, Fitz, the other thing we were talking about this morning as well was uh, you potentially fake the situation and get out of paying for a meal. A bloke over in Spain. Spain 20 times <laughs> yeah. faked a heart attack at a restaurant to get out of pain. Finally caught up with him. Yeah, they're doing the bolt. I mean, we oh, look. We didn't do it too much. There was junk food corner down at Norlunga, which <laughs> which had which had that had Macca's, yep. KFC, and also you had Pizza Hut down there. And all you could eat Pizza Hut. I think yeah. that that shut down because the local kids <laughs> that when it was time to pay were already hundred meters down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, the big one, for, can I tell you a story? When I was at Mitsubishi making seats, the one that I learned from all the older blokes at Mitsis, and if anyone works in a factory with a lot of workers, they, they used to teach me, they used to get the paper every morning on the way to work really early, and you would go to the obituaries, yeah. and you would see if you had a common surname, Jodes, yeah. you could always, if someone died with the same surname as you, you could go into work, show the obituary and say, oh, that was my uncle, and we've got to, we've got to get, get together as a family. Family today yeah. and talk about the funeral and get a yeah. day off. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's good. No so one's going to question it. <laughs> no one, because it's in the obituaries. It's yeah. in the advertising. Um, Fitzy, we had a funny moment where we thought of you during the week, speaking of Mitsubishi, because we, um, f- as part of the St John Home Lottery, uh, yeah. rang a guy and we were like, okay, mate, this is fair income. You've, you can either choose between $100,000... Yeah. Or a luxury vehicle, and we listed all the vehicles, and it was like a, a Lexus, yes, yeah, the big dogs, a like BMW, Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. Yeah, there, yeah. And he's given it this one. I kid you not. He goes, probably pass on the car. I work at Mitsubishi. <laughs> <laughs> And, and awesome. it, it felt like he was about to go on this big spiel about how Pajero is the best vehicle on the planet. Yeah, yeah. good on him. Buy yourself an Outlander and that's all you need. Oh, give, me, give me the cash, $100,000 cash. And when yeah, he's dropped yeah. the yeah, I work at Mitsubishi, we're all like, well, so did Fitzy. <laughs> he's a Tonsley boy, a uh, lover. Needless to say, he took the hundred grand. <laughs> no, it is. It, it was a great... And there's a lot of people that I still run into from Mitsubishi, and a lot of blokes that I still go and visit in Yatla, and, uh, <laughs> that are doing very, very well. Shout out there to Brian Smart. He was our boss. Yes. Represent, Tonsley represent, Tonsley Hotel. <laughs> We used to go to Tonsley Hotel for lunch, which was a bit stupid. Coming back half tank, putting seats together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. There's people driving around in Mitsubishi Just on a forty-five. <laughs> Guys, can we stop the line? I've stapled my thumb to the seat. <laughs> Can't feel a thing. <laughs> It's just blokes driving around Marion and Mitsubishi on a 45 degree angle going, what's wrong with the seat? I've got to stop drinking Woodstocks at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Fitzy, we love you. We, we appreciate didn't even you. talk any footy. <laughs> yeah, no, we did it. No footy. <laughs> and harvest, right. harvest Rock next week too, hey? Yes. Get yourself ready. I'm well, having a beer with you. Yeah, absolutely right. And then I'm going to have another beer. Uh, Fitzy, this, I, I, so I, I sent Fitzy a message saying happy birthday because I tell everyone that we're best mates. <laughs> yeah. It's one-sided. That's completely fine. Yeah. And then uh, and I wrote back, who's this? <laughs> Who this? <laughs> we're of the agreement that he'll have one beer with me and then I've got to disappear. <laughs> I can't right, promise anything. Right. There will be an awkward moment where I go, all right, Hazy, good to see you, mate. Have a good one. <laughs> and I'll yeah. say, so can I get on your shoulders yet or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, get off my shoulders. <laughs> oh, Fitzy, we'll see you next weekend. All right, love you guys. <laughs> see you. See you. Jody and Hazy's 6am coffee shots. Yeah, who wants a coffee? 13, 24, 10. And not just a coffee, maybe a week's worth of coffee. Yeah, that's what we like to do here. And, uh, you know, we've got a big show coming up, so you probably need to be caffeinated for it, just yeah. so you're as up and about as we're going to be. Spot on. Uh, let's um, also talk about something else. Credit to you, Jody, for mm. fronting work today when <laughs> clearly you might be a little bit under weather, maybe sitting there going, whoa, um, who's that co-host with Hazy? Is it the great Miley Cyrus? The journey is usually the part that you <laughs> remember anyways. Yes, maybe it is. I came in like a you got some real Miley Cyrus vibes with that voice at the moment. Hey, works for Miley. I do. And there was some <laughs> suggestion that I wouldn't be well enough to come into work. Um, but to come in this morning and to have you rip the piss out of me at 6.03 <laughs> has been all worth it, you know? It's fine. It's called feedback. It's good. The journey is usually the part that you remember anyways. <laughs> so true, Jodes. <laughs> oh, God. I hate you sometimes. I should have just stayed in bed and left you to your own device. Well, that's what Abby did last Friday. She's <laughs> had enough of me, so she stayed in bed. Let me tell you, it was wonderful too. You should do it more often. Oh, yeah. I was tempted this morning. Don't worry about yeah, that. that. Three day Michelle from Glengarry, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm um, well. It's Hazy and Miley here. Um, where are you <laughs> off to this morning? I'm currently sitting outside my son's work, picking him up, which I do every single morning at 6am because he works night shift. Oh my yeah. goodness, Michelle. <laughs> and then I go home, take my husband, and then I log on to work all day. Oh, oh my gosh. <sighs> now I feel bad for complaining about having yeah. a tickle story. <laughs> oh my gosh, now I feel bad for I do work from home though, so I'm a little bit lucky with that, I guess. Right, yeah, okay. that's nice, but it's also hard, Michelle, because you, don't you find you get distracted by washing and doing the dishes? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I get more distracted in the office, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah okay. right. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, Michelle, what are we having? What's your potion this morning? I'd love a skinny latte, please. Skinny, skinny latte. latte. Skinny. A couple of sugars, three or four sugars as well. <laughs> Throw it in there. No, no sugars. No sugar. As I said, I'm working from home, so I'm not getting any exercise. Don't need the sugar. And, yeah. of course, me being the good barista uh, that I am, I always say when people say that, you're sweet enough. You don't oh, need any that's sugars good. there, Michelle. That's good. Yeah. Well done. Mm -hmm. Michelle, coffee for you for a week. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you so much. See you, Michelle. Good stuff. Jeez, that's, that's good mothering, that isn't is it? It is unbelievable. I'd be like, find your own way home, Tom. Yeah, I wish I had a mother like that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, DJ oh. Hayes. What a saint she was. <laughs> no, still is, by the way. She's still alive. Oh, Here's what you're waking up to, Adelaide. News. In the news today. Breaking news. Breaking news. What's in the news today? Your post snooze news. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. A lot so we of just stuff. thought we'd condense it. And uh, what we do is we like to take the top three stories and just jam them into one little segment. So when you wake up, you can go to work and you can be edumacated about what's going on. Yep. And let's go to Abby in the newsroom first. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties this morning. Yeah. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm hearing some around. weird noises. So am I. So am I. That's right. So uh, what you genuinely do in this situation is push on and ignore it. Yes, it's but it's I can't seem to do that. Anyway, I'm just going to talk and hopefully you can hear me. Um, the cleanup will continue today at the Pagoda Chinese restaurant in Fruville. So it was a large kitchen fire overnight. Now, luckily, um, there's not too much damage, but some cooking oil was left and a 70-year-old man was taken to hospital with minor burns. Um, it's a beautiful little restaurant on Glen Osmond Road. I've been there. A f I went there a few years ago. I'm due to go back, but it's, yeah, it might need a little bit of help and, and uh, Adelaide rallying behind them just to sort of get back on their feet. So that happened uh, yesterday afternoon. I would assume that they would be closed uh, for a little bit this morning, but hopefully they'll reopen soon. Very nice. There you go. I did some amazing things yesterday. Um, we did like a little wrap on 10 News, first of all, the things that are going on in Adelaide. So we firstly went down to the Lucky Dumpling Market. Yep. Um, that looks incredible. Two weeks. Spot, and guess how many dumplings um, that they... 
anticipate that they will sell over the next couple of weeks? Oh, jeez. $1.4 billion. <laughs> And that's just to you? That's just to me. <laughs> I've pre-ordered them. <laughs> no, they sold 300000 last week. Wow. Last week, last year. And this year, they anticipate that they're going to sell 400,000 dumplings. Wow. Beat, beat your own record. Oh, no. <laughs> dumplings. I had a sample yesterday. Oh, my giddy aunt. I bet you did. You forgot the chew, didn't you? Ate it like a duck. <laughs> <Still> <laughs> back and then bang. You will find me on Saturday with my children, uh, uh, like literally in the Torrens, yeah. like a duck, just with a whole heap of yeah. dumplings. Just going, whack, whack, yeah. whack. My oh. advice is don't chew them. Just do it like oysters and just yeah. suck, suck them, them yeah. right yeah. back. Your chewing is just wasting time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. true. Absolutely. And then uh, we went across to Tarnandi, which is the new uh, First Nations art festival that is happening at the Art Gallery of South Australia. And I had the absolute pleasure yesterday um, of meeting Vincent Namajira. Now, he painted that iconic picture that won the Archibald Prize of him with Adam Goods. Yep. Um, and so he was standing in front of it yesterday and he was talking about the painting and what it meant to him and how it broke his heart that Adam Goods was treated the way he was in the latter years of his career. And also we um, touched on the no vote as well and he just said, I just wanted a better future for the regional kids, regional Aboriginal kids. And he was genuine. I nearly cried. He was genuinely so upset about what's just transpired in this I country. I love Adam Goods. Adam Goods. Yeah, he's incredible, isn't he? I love Adam Goods a lot. Yeah. Um, so that was really lovely. And what was the third thing I did? Oh, I saw the um, preview of the WBBL. So the Adelaide Strikers, they obviously won the whole uh, shebang last year, but they did a doco on it. It's a 50-minute doco and it just navigates um, their journey throughout the season. And it was such a great insight into the change rooms of these girls and how hard they work and um, all that hard work coming to fruition with the premiership. So it was a really, really cool thing to watch. The stuff go the strikers. News. News, news, news. Uh, wrap up so it was a big day news. for me yesterday, wasn't, wasn't it? it? Jeez, Jeez I did some busy? stuff. No, God. No, no, wonder you, no wonder you're a bit croaky. I know, oh, especially boy. with a belly full of dumplings. Wow, yeah. what an mm. achievement. Uh, a couple of bits of news coming out of the AFL. Uh, both illicit. Boy, oh boy, Elijah Hollins, who is now part of the Carlton Football Club. Um, so he's got a court date or had a court date for possessing a prohibited substance. Oh dear. Mm, which is not good. Um, so that eventually will be sorted out. He'll probably get a strike and I'm not sure what happens in the court system. But the other one, this one's where it's very tricky, is at the Demons and that is Joel Smith mm -hmm. who returned a positive test for cocaine after a game in season. So this is where it gets really, really tricky because if it's out of competition, then you get a strike and all sorts of things, but it's not a big deal. In terms of, of course, it's a big deal. It's not good to uh, ingest illicit substance. But but because it was in competition phase, potentially, mm. he's up for a four-year ban. <gasps> wow. So what happens now is they need to prove that he didn't do it on the game, on the day of the game itself. And mm. if they can prove that, then he'll probably get a three-month ban instead. Surely you're not doing that before you're running out onto the footy field. Probably Surely. not. Surely. Probably not, Habs. But then the other question um, is there, and that is if it is in your system for, what, two or three days, mm. yeah. why are you potentially ingesting illicit substance on, say, a Thursday, Thursday night, night. A yeah. yeah, and why are you risking it? With yeah. your career. Mm. I mean, Silly. everyone has different preparations. I remember hearing that Eddie Betts would go to Subway twice before a game. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just quickly on that, I mean, I, I read uh, Ben Cousins' book. Yeah, me too. And uh, I watched yes. the documentary. And one of his things was he said he would mm. he would uh, have a huge night on a list of substances, huge weekend, turn up on a Monday yep. uh, and go do 20 laps of a pool. Each lap that he Just would get it out. he would drink a 600ml bottle of water. So he's basically swimming and urinating at the same time. Drug testers were there and he passed the test. Wow. Unbelievable. Goodness me. Wouldn't wow. suggest, wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, wouldn't recommend doing that. No. And <laughs> also just the very fact that he would... Um, plan his drug use around the roster so he knew where he was going to be at any given weekend and he knew when he was going to have a big night yeah. and how long it would take to get out of his system. Unbelievable. Stuff. Anyway, mm. fresh hits and throwback. This is Nova. <laughs> 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 the 6.15 vending machine quiz. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Ready to attack the weekend. Yeah, head on. The only way a vending machine knows how. Yeah, that is true. That's yeah. very, very true. Mm. Sold reputation vending machines for really leaving no stone unturned. And this is how it works. We have three questions. You just need to get the third one right, and then you get yourself a crack at the vending machine. So many cool prizes on the line. Cheese Fest 2023 tickets, Earthquake Studios, Bailo Adelaide 500. The list goes on and on, Andrew Hayes. Mm. All right, right, let's go to Maitlands. Let's go to Brittany. Hello, Brittany. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Nervous. No, oh, don't be you'll nervous. be okay because I pretty much just gave away the first answer to the first question, so you're a third of the way there. Brittany, what TV show yeah. is is this theme for? <laughs> 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 
Please do, do, do. Oh. Go to Brittany. I have, I have two answers in my head. Oh, no. Um, I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Just attack it head on like the vending machine would. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. Three, two. Is it Farfield? Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are living on the edge, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany, oh, well done. You're an entertainer. Okay. Um, question number two. What geometric shape is generally used for stop signs? Um, what's the word for it? <laughs> That's why we're asking you. Three, two. A circle? Oh. 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 It's hexagon. No. <laughs> it was a hexagon either. No. Oh, thanks for the journey there, Brittany. That Brittany, was that was some highs and lows, wasn't yeah. it? Um, let's go to Mitch from Lobethal. Hey, Mitch. There he is. Hi, Mitch. Sorry I didn't pull you up there, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Great, Mitch. Mitch, can you tell us what geometric shape is generally used for stop signs? Is it an octagon? Oh, yes, thank goodness. Yep. Damn right it is. Certainly not a circle. All right. All right. Question number three for a crack at the vending machine. Mitch, which Spice Girl was Victoria Beckham? Posh Spice. Yeah, she oh, was. Yeah. Sing along if you know the words, Mitch. Yes, I swear. <laughs> Congratulations, great man. Well done. Thank you. And just Thank because you, so you sung along to Jessica Simpson verbatim, word for word during the week. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, it's such a guilty pleasure, some of these old 90s pop songs. I they? know. Mitch, I need a letter between A and C, please. A and Z? C. A and C, B. Okay, and a number between two and six. Four. Right. C4. C4. C4 gets B4. a... It's B4. Oh, B4. B4. Yes, today, tonight. <laughs> B4, what have B4. we got? Right, our vending machine. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, good start of the week. Mitch, just to let you know, sometimes machine. we have to really dismantle the vending yeah, machine. take its face <laughs> off, <laughs> Nicholas Cage style. Mitch, you want to avoid the chips here. This is the key. Yes, please. Yeah. Well, you have done that, and you've won an Amazon Alexa Echo Pop Smart speaker, oh, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. Wow, thank you. Look, I dare that's say, awesome. that's, that's one of the prizes that I would absolutely love it's to win. good. On this. Well done, Mitch. Thanks, guys. Have a fantastic weekend. I don't know if you frequent the wool shed. You'll probably see the 615 vending machine there. <laughs> yeah. Especially well, last I used to a lot, but not anymore. Okay, yes. yeah, good. We all <laughs> we all outgrow the wool shed at some point. Yeah, we do. And as we always say, Mitch, avoid the 615 vending machine after a couple of Bundy and Cokes. <laughs> all right, will do. Well done, Mitch, thanks. And that's all thanks to Amazon Alexa. You can easily listen to us at home with the Echo Pop smart speaker. Just say, Alexa, play Nova. There you go. What a journey that was. Wasn't it? Good stuff. Jody and Hazy's 6 a.m. coffee shouts. Yeah, 636. Let's do this. Who wants a coffee? 13, 24, 10. And not just a coffee, a week's worth of coffee. Give us a buzz. Yeah, um, we're more than happy to shout you coffee for an, an entire week. Abs in the newsroom, though. Just um, when was the season opening win from the other? <laughs> Don't start with me, all right? <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh, you, you haven't had your decaf coffee yet? Uh, I'm going to let you in in a little secret. Oh. I got a coffee on the way into work this morning. And it was a coffee coffee? It was a coffee coffee. Oh, I'm tired. Gosh. I'm tired this morning. I've been burning the candle at both ends and I wanted a coffee. You didn't go out again last night? I did. Where'd you go? Do you want to hear? This is a really funny story. <laughs> yes. Um, so I went to a thing called Musical Bingo, and I actually hosted the paper plane throwing competition. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Wild. That's really um, fun. Anyway, we need to get you a boyfriend. 13 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Kelly from Surrey Downs, good morning. Good morning. Have you ever participated in a paper plane throwing contest, Kelly? I have a six-year-old, so, yeah. Yes. 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 Every night. Yeah, it's have, a thing, I tell you. We have a six-year-old, too. She reads the news for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kel, where are you off to this morning? Work, unfortunately. Oh, where do you work? Uh, at a Woolies. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah, what, what can I get you here, Kelly, as I fire up the coffee machine? Soy mocha, please. Oh, soy mocha. Soy mocha. I'm not sure that I've, that I've heard that combination before. That, just do your job and make the coffee, oh, please. Sorry. You keep, <laughs> keep your special comments to yourself. Thanks, Barista. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, we're going to shout your coffee for a week just to get you on your way. 
Thank you so much. That's amazing. You're so welcome. Have a lovely weekend. Good stuff. There you yeah, go. It's nice, isn't it? What about this story emerging overseas? And credit where credit's due. Yep. A 50-year-old man faked a heart attack in over 20 restaurants in Spain to avoid paying bills. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's extreme. <laughs> yeah. Originally, the man was from Lithuania. He's been jailed after he fa- failed to pay the fine for his theatrical skills. So on top of that, didn't have to pay back the restaurants, but got a fine, didn't pay that, tried to weasel his way out of that. <laughs> and now he's going to jail. But being a weasel is what us blokes do best. Weaseling out of things is important to learn. It's what separates us from the animals. Except the weasel. Of course. <laughs> it's just us and the weasels. <laughs> it's oh, a skill geez. in itself. For example, newsreader Abby yeah. uh, claimed last Friday, this time last week. Can you mm-hmm. believe it's been a week? Mm-hmm. Happy one week anniversary since Abby slept in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the great sleep in of 2023. Oh, so I missed my alarm. No, she didn't. No, you she better didn't. Things to because in her brain, she's like, I'm tired. I don't want to go to work today. I'm sick of those two peanuts. <laughs> (laughs) And also, if I sleep in, then I still get paid. Yeah. (laughs) So. Yeah, it's a one-off. And it's a delicate balance as well because Mm. at what stage do you tell work, yeah, I'm awake, I'm ready to go? (laughs) Do they go, nah, stay home versus, well, you better come in? Actually, awkward. I forgot to put that I missed my shift so I and we got paid. After yeah. uh, the same day. It's really so. interesting, that, isn't it? <laughs> um, I don't think she's the only weasel in this little team of ours, though, because I need to ask you this question, mm-hmm. Andrew Hayes. Yeah. Is there a cafe in the central business district of Adelaide, South Australia? <laughs> this is not fair. That, <laughs> that has not declined your card yeah. when you've gone to pay for coffee and or your bacon and egg roll. The sheer volume of times that we've been out with you where the lady behind the counter has awkwardly gone, oh, sorry, that didn't go through. <laughs> yeah, a little code 51. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what 51 means now. Uh, yeah. Anyway, special shout out to those businesses this morning, Fresco, Larry and Lad, Kiko and the $2 coffee at Jack's Cafe. <laughs> we apologise. Oh, my God, I'm being busy. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, Battle of the Bangers. So just before we get into Battle of the Bangers, which is essentially two songs that go head to head, a jump on the Jody and Hazy Instagram page uh, to cast your vote, because this one is tight. But before we get into it, I just want to check that we're all still friends after the diary. We're good? Yeah. No, we good, Abs? Nah. <laughs> You know how you messaged me yesterday and said, oh, like, you know, just double checking. Nah, I'm off you now. <laughs> wow, I did check in with Abs <laughs> yesterday just to say, you okay if I rip the PI double five out of you in the diary this week? And she was like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, we're all friends. All I'd cool. written out my Christmas cards for this year and now I've just torn yours up. Yeah. So oh, I'm devastated. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, Abs? This is, this is probably a conversation off air, but um, we'll have our vengeance, don't you, Robert? Mm-hmm. You just bank it. And I'll, what I want to do before the end of the year Let's have a little turn of a, a diary ourselves. Oh, feel free. It's yeah. a lot of work for me, so I'm happy to hand over the pen and the diary to you, and you yeah. can take over, you two. Okay, let's do it. I'll bring the start. things that I write down every night before I go to bed, okay. with, so we've got oh, some content already. It's going to be dark. All right, it's a battle of the bangers. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be very dark indeed. Um, you chose this song, Joe. Yep. Now, who sings this? Alanis Morissette. Yes, thank you. Yesterday you were saying Alanis, and I was like, who's Alanis? Alanis well, Morissette. I stand by that. It can be either Alanis or Alanis. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, and yet, unless you are actually Alanis or Alanis Morissette, you've got no right to say how I can say her name. Uh, I think when you consistently say your name one way and people saying it some way differently, yeah. then you can say, well, it's not, up to, it's not up to you how you say someone else's name when they say it consistently one way. I have no idea what you just said in the last 15 minutes. I wonder how so. Kayla Asinas feels about Jodie <laughs> and how Jodie <laughs> says her Nina's. last name. I'll, I'll say it's Aninas if I want to. <laughs> And Kayla's like, how about you just say it correctly? <laughs> it's an anus, is that right? It's an anus. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's how you say it. Alanis Morissette, you ought to know, up against the cranberries. Or is it the cranberries? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Alanis V, the cranberries. Yeah. Wow, real 90s vibe to Battle of the Bangs. And a real sort of similar genre we've gone for this week. Yeah. But if you haven't done so already, please vote for my song. It's Alana Smorissette. She was an icon. She was an absolute icon. Yeah. She's a powerful, powerful woman, powerful voice. Have we got some sort of score update? I do. I don't have the exact votes. Um, when I looked at it this morning, it was 50-50, neck and neck. Yep. 
and now it is fifty one forty nine. Oh, I'm not going to tell you who. Wow! But uh, you've probably got about uh, fifteen or so minutes to yes. vote before it cuts off. So get voting. All right. I don't yeah, want to pressure people, o'clock. but. <coughs> I have been a little bit sick this week, so. Okay. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Play her song because she's sick. Oh, I just seriously need a little pick me up. Oh my god, mom. Thirteen twenty four ten. What lies do you tell your kids, or what were you told as a kid? Oh, where's this come from? Oh well, let's uh, inject newsreader Abby. Um, into this conversation. We're having just a a nice little conversation the other day in the newsroom Mm. and we started talking about some of the things that your parents told you as you were a youngster and Abby came out with one which I reckon a lot of people have told before and for the longest time I thought it was a genuine thing. So shout out to my sisters. Um, I'll never forgive them for this. They, I was eating watermelon one day and I ate the watermelon and they both went, oh, did you just eat the seeds as well? And I said, well, yeah. And they said, oh, my God, oh, my God, it's going to start growing in your stomach now oh and it's going to grow out your ears. Yeah. So I freaked out and was crying and was like, how am I going to tell mum? I'm about to turn into a watermelon. Um, and then as I got older, I realised that everybody basically got told this lie. Everyone. How am I going to break it to mum? Yeah. Mum, sit down. I've got something to tell you. Now, this is going to be very confronting. Yeah. But in two to three months, I will be a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Literally what was going through my head. So, um, yeah, I've never forgiven them for that, and they'll be listening to this laughing their heads off, thinking they were hilarious. Yeah, it's oh, good. Yeah. Um, we have a little white lie. Oh, I hope my kids aren't listening. They, Yeah, they probably are. Oh, That's okay. I don't know if I want to reveal it. It's not school time yet, is it? Yeah, it's nah. not. That's for what them? I mean. They're probably listening. Yeah, That's but, right, well, they're, they're listening at home. They're probably listening to SEN. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> So um, all of our children growing up, we have told them that we have cameras everywhere in the house. What? That's, that's, that's like it's what? You, you told them that effectively they live in a prison. They, <laughs> or the big brother compound. <laughs> um, so every time they have an argument or whatever, or they do something wrong and we're not around, we're like, tell the truth, we'll check the cameras. <laughs> That's good. That is very deceitful. Yep. That is exactly what we're talking about, yeah. guys. Let's take it to the next level. So now I've just given that away, which is annoying because it still works on the youngest. Yeah, anyway. right. Anywho. Uh, anyway, I'll mm. keep that secret. Did you eat that yourselves. chocolate? <laughs> no, mummy, I didn't. Well, I'm going to go and check the camera. Oh, okay, check the I footage. did, I did. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> or you can just tell me the truth right now. Yeah. Uh, as we approach Christmas as well, we've got a certain little method with our kids. Mm-hmm. We've got a five-year-old and a three-year-old, and it's probably going to work better on the three-year-old now, mm-hmm. where if they start misbehaving, there's apps that are in on this as well okay. you can press a button and then it'll be a pretend santa claus <gasps> uh video call come back yeah and the one that we've got says this so you answer it, it's like oh well, santa's Uh-oh. just called here he is <laughs> i normally don't do this but i've got some bad news you're on the naughty list <gasps> no oh, no now before you get too upset hold on <laughs> let me remind you that there's still time to switch the list. And then you merge into the, listen, you can turn it all around. Yeah. You've just got to behave from yeah. here and then. Yeah. Always straightens up, Henry. As as my husband Greg says, it's all about how you respond. Yeah, so right. come on, Henry. Come on, Lottie. Straighten yeah. up. As, um, that, as a kid, that would be like... <laughs> oh, devastating. Henry's like, don't call Santa. Don't call Santa. Don't call Santa. <laughs> like, oh, call the big fella. Go oh, on my speed dog. You still say that to me in here sometimes when you do the wrong thing. Don't yeah. call him. I'll call him. I I've will. got his number. Hazy, I'm yeah. going to call him. I'm going to The little lies that you tell your kids, 13, 20, 4, 10, we'd love to hear from you this morning. Let's go to Tana from Morford. Good day, Tana. Good morning, guys. How are we feeling today? Yeah, I feel good. Oh, we're how are you feeling? Up? So, uh, the little lie, little white lie, doesn't hurt anybody. Um, I have a three and a five-year-old, so I tell them that chocolate milkshakes have coffee in it so that they don't drink mine. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. See, that's not too much of a lie. It's a genuine little white lie. It's going to steer them in the right direction. That's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. that's good. That's well good. done. G'day, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. Good morning, guys. Oh, good. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Let's go off, Ronnie. Ronnie, <laughs> what's the little white lie that you tell your kids? Um, well, my children are older now, but I wanted them to eat blue vein cheese, and I didn't want to tell them it was made, it was mouldy, so I told them it was zebra cheese made by zebras. Yeah, good. <laughs> and they believed that for years. <laughs> and now they're adults, they still 
uh, give me heaps about it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, that's fun. What about going to the deli and asking for some zebra cheese? <laughs> um, they used to, in the supermarket, they'd say, Mum, can we get zebra cheese? And my girlfriend was in the supermarket one day and looked at me and just shook her head. <laughs> oh, Ronnie, well done. Love that for you. Oh, that's good. Let's go to Sarah from Ethelton. What little lo- white lies are you telling your kids, Sarah? Hi, guys. Yeah, I used to tell my kids that if they lied, their nose would grow like Pinocchio's. And so when they did lie, they'd be pressing in their nose. (laughs) (laughs) Dead giveaway. (laughs) Dead giveaway. I did hear the story the other day as well, Sarah, that uh, a parent would tell their kid, if you lie, that your tongue would turn blue. Oh. So then it would always be like, are you telling a lie? Uh, And then to say, right, well, show me your tongue. And if they were like, oh, I don't want to show you, then you know that they're lying. That's so clever. Oh, my God. Yeah, I I, I could always know when they were lying, and especially when one was lying and the other one knew about it. They'd they'd put their hand over each other's nose. (laughs) (laughs) That's genius. Debbie, what lies are you telling your kids? Uh, I still tell my lies today. Um, I've got five boys uh, from early 20s, just over 18, and I look at it and I think, Quite often on the weekend, we've got quite a few of their friends will all come over and sort of party on the dance floor. Yeah. And if they fail to turn the music down consistently, me and my husband will tell them that the police have called. Yeah. And have a to turn the music down. Um, so that's the only thing that works. Otherwise, it all gets shut down. That is That, that would be... Uh, a fake threat made by so many people. I'm about to call the cops or I've called the cops. Yeah. And then you shift into gear, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's, 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 sim- it's like a teenage version of I'm going to call Santa, isn't it? Yeah, it is, absolutely. <laughs> um, some good uh, examples coming through via the text line 0400919919. Um, if you cross your eyes, they'll stay that way. That's a good one. Chewing gum stays in your stomach for seven years. Oh, That's I... one to tell the youngsters as well, as well. I've always heard that meat, you swallow it. meat stays in your stomach for two years. Meat? Like red meat. No, I think that was uh, that was some of your vegan motives. <laughs> <laughs> um, watching too much TV will make your eyes go square. Go square, yes, that's yes. a good one. Um, hey, I'd like to give Sarah the best caller cheese fest tickets, please. Yes. It's back the most snackable weekend in SA, November 18 and 19 in Rundle Park. Get your tickets from cheesefest.com.au. Oh, very good. Can continue the conversation as well. I mean, what sort of little lies do you tell your kids or have you been told as a youngster, which stays with you for a long time? I don't know why as well, but for yeah. so long it was like, oh, Eat your crusts and they'll make your hair go curly. Yeah. Like curly hair is beautiful, I get that. But why yeah. is that an incentive to eat your crusts? Yeah, yeah. Um, this is a bit of a visual gag, but I'm going to do it for you anyway just to make you laugh. But you really deserve to be called horse. <laughs> <laughs> I just put my hand on my nose, everybody. Right, on. Look, thanks for that, Pinocchio. Appreciate that. <laughs> Opportunities to start your weekend right. So we both nominate a song mm-hmm. each, then we put it to the good people via Jody and Hazy on Instagram. We say, look, you vote for the best banger. Yes. Mm. Two songs, very similar ones this week. Real similar. Both are 90s vibes. Yeah. Love that. I've gone down the Alanis Morissette path. <laughs> now I don't know how to say it. Bit of Alanis. I love you. <laughs> Interesting. And she's an absolute queen, let's be honest. Yep. Oh, I've gone down the 90s path as well. A bit heavier, a bit of a uh, zombie by the Cranberries. Mm, all right. In the studio comes one of the absolute greats, and that is camera guy Josh. Hello, yeah. great man. Good morning, guys. Yeah, you had a four-day week too this week, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Seems to be a theme around here. Anyway. Oh, well, I thought if Abs can do it, then yeah. I can do it. We'll just keep turning up for the five days, Hazy. Yeah, she set, she set the tone, didn't she, Abs? Yeah. Well done. Yeah. You're a trailblazer, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> They've always said that about me, to be honest, Hazy. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. <laughs> All right, Alanis Morissette be the Cranberries. You want a little drum roll there, great man? I I can tell you. Mm-hmm. All right, at seven twenty-five, there were only two votes in it. Okay. Wow. And then uh, one vote got thirty-six people jump on board and really came back from the dead. Oh, oh, big oh, well. zo- oh okay, <laughs> zombie reference. I get it. It's zombie by the Cranberries. Ah. Well done, Hazy. There you go. Oh. The Cranberries, and just imagine this. Perform live, big giant crowd going off, drums, guitar, strong Irish voice. Just let people listen to it. (laughs) (laughs) 
Ah, uh, the cranberries. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this week's winner for Battle of the Bangers. Yeah. Enjoy. Getting around our good friends at Frederick Street Finest, celebrating by people just registering on the Nova Player app or online at Nova FM, telling us how they fake fancy, how they just do bougie a little bit differently. Yeah, the, these are the moments where you pretend like you're super bougie, but you're in fact quite popo. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're certainly not as fancy as yep. it would seem on the surface. Yes, and there's a platform for this. Yeah. It's called Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we've been rewarding people all week with all sorts of prizes. We've given away a $500 guess voucher, yeah. uh, a Tiffany, a $1,000 Tiffany and Co voucher. Yep. Um, we gave away a full day at a day spa. My gosh, we've been doing some nice stuff. Really busy stuff. Let's go to the beautiful Donna in Two Wheels. G'day, Donna. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah. We're so great, Donna. We need you to tell us how you fake fancy, please. Um, or occasionally I'll hire a cheaper hotel room, like through, you know, one of the sites like booking.com. Um, I'll go to town, I, um, I'll treat myself like a freaking grinter. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what are we getting up to? Like, are we talking a bit of champagne, a few strawberries? Yeah, a bit of, like some drinks. Um, I'll go down to the restaurant. I'll get it um, sent to my, like, charged to my room, but it's to my deposit, not actually to my room. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're just like, oh, I don't care. I'm Gene Simmons. And you just absolutely trash the hotel room, yeah? Donna's not yeah, doing that. Yeah, just a little bit up. Yeah. is absolutely categorically not trashing her hotel room. <laughs> okay, I misread that. I misread that. Sorry. Uh, Donna, I'm a single mum, so it's, it's like relaxing for me, you know? <laughs> yeah. Donna, I often fantasise sometimes when the kids are going Coco Bananas about just taking myself to a hotel room for the night and just getting all the sleep, having a nice yeah. little room service meal and a glass of champagne. Yes, that's right. So I get it. Yeah. Donna. Yeah. Thanks to our mates at Frederick Street Finest, we might give you a real fancy experience. So we're going to upgrade you from princess to queen for the night, if that's okay. Yes, please. So I'm just wondering, and we'll just run this past you and see how you feel about it. You don't have to accept it. It's no big deal. Yeah. But would you like a one-night stay with bed and breakfast at... Probably South Australia's fanciest hotel, and yes. that's Sequoia Luxury Lodge. <laughs> Whereabouts is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so this Donna. is a, a okay. Mount Lofty. All right, it's at Mount Lofty. Oh, wow. Let me give you an idea of what this place is like. Sir Paul McCartney just stayed there, yeah. and it's, okay. it's value, Donna. At two and a half thousand dollars per night. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Donna, if you don't to. that would be absolutely amazing. Donna, if you don't want to go, all of us can we'll go, go instead for you if you like. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Donna, I I I need you to I need you to Google Sequoia Luxury <laughs> Lodge, please, and just see what you're in for. Because it ain't really? ain't yeah. your budget hotel. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're very welcome, Donna. Um, you absolutely de- deserve it because we can already tell that you are a beautiful, very devoted mother. So congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank and you so much. Donna, can you do me a favour? Can you take a little video when you arrive there and you open the doors and you see the view from your room, the entirety of Adelaide from the gorgeous Adelaide Hills? It's an intimate, adult-only luxury lodge and it's just nestled in the hills there. It's stunning. Uh, Sounds lovely. Yes. Okay. That's true, really. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm exhausted explaining to Donna what Sequoia is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> With a, a, a touch of jealousy, too, it yeah. feels like as well. 100% because I dream <laughs> about going there. Yeah. Uh, thank you to everybody who has entered for our competition, uh, Feeling Fancy competition. Look for Frederick Street Finest as well in the Fancy Blue Packets at your local Drake supermarket. Be excellent anywhere with Frederick Street Finest devoted to excellence. And keep it up. Keep on faking fancy. It's good fun. Well done. Yeah. Well done, Donna. It's like going, oh, you're going to Disneyland. Oh, cool. Where's that? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Are you telling me you built a time machine? Hazy's on this Daisy. Yep. (sighs) Nothing to say here. It's just Friday. Hang on. What? Did you say Friday? Is it Friday? Yeah. Ah, (laughs) you I told you. (laughs) All right. (laughs) 
good to get that off the chest, Joe. <laughs> 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 you want to wipe that large so, bit of spit off your chest? Literally <laughs> frothing at the mouth after that. Goodness. All right, calm down. Now the levels are back on neutral. So aggressive. Yeah, let's take a little trip down memory lane for a Friday. Uh, 20th of October, 1979, John... Krasinski was born in Boston, Massachusetts. Today's his 44th birthday. Yes, so he tried to kiss me. What? And I didn't tell anyone because I'm not really sure how I feel about it. That is not true. Redact it. Well, I'm not actually making a formal complaint. I just really think we should talk about it. Sensational in the office. Isn't he just a darling? Very witty. Yeah. Very dry. Yeah, funny yeah. stuff. But I'm a UK version Oh, fan. okay. Mm. David Brent. <laughs> there is nothing that can ever defeat David Brent. Yeah, it's a good conversation to have, isn't it? It's a good debate. I want to go back US to... US or the UK. UK version I want to go office. back and watch it all again. Mm. Do it yeah. all again. Very rewatchable. Yeah, okay. Mm. Uh, 1973, Sydney Opera House was officially opened by Queen Elizabeth II. I congratulate the people of Sydney and indeed of Australia on this remarkable addition to its architecture and to its cultural and community life. Oh. Oh, how did it get haunted? I don't know. It's one of those joints which is famously quite haunted. And if you're a ghost, why would you choose the Opera House? <laughs> Such high ceilings. Very true. Have you ever been inside there? No, I've never been inside the Opera House. No, me yeah. neither. Been on the steps. Yeah. Who wants to go to Sydney? Why would you want to go to Sydney anyway? Yeah. Hey, what's going on there? Yeah, nothing. Cop that. Um, what was his name? Dom Perrottet. Bit of reverse. <laughs> bit of reverse uh, sledging. <laughs> I don't know if that or was that Dan Andrews? It was Dan Andrews said, why would you want to go to uh, Adelaide? Anyway. All of them have had a crack at Adelaide. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We're just the little pig that was. 2017, Holden Production Line in Northern Adelaide shut down, ending 69 years of Australian-made car manufacturing. That was a very, very sad day. Would have been a sad day for you. Strong sponsor, Holden, yeah. of the Central District Football Club, where you won at least two premierships. Yeah, <laughs> give or take two or three. It doesn't really matter. Number one song in October 20 in 2002 was Dilemma by Nelly and Kelly. And everyone oh, back yeah. in the day was like, oh, this is my couple song. Yeah. Yes. And also, why are you wearing a Band-Aid under your eye? Yeah, I know. What's going yourself? on there? Is it, it must be infected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just won't heal. No. <laughs> Love you Probably wasn't me and you's read Abby's best week, let's be honest. That's, <laughs> Look. We're in this together. We are all. We're a team. and Apparently we're not, Jodie. Oh, oh. <laughs>